Okay, this video is going to look at the triangular distribution and once again I apologize for the quality of my voice as I have been unwell but need to get this one done today. Okay, this is another simple continuous distribution like we looked at the rectangular distribution. It is a tiny bit more realistic and useful because it's when we know a minimum, a maximum and the mode um, and that's a bit more realistic to real life situations but still it's not much and um, it's probably not all that useful in, in the real world. So anyway, we've got a minimum, a maximum and a mode. They get referred to as A, B and C. Um, so the height of our triangle we can work out because the triangle has to make one so the height has to match that so that that area will be equal to 1. So half base times height makes 1. So that height has to come out to 2 over B minus A. So when we then want to find areas on this distribution, there is a formula on the formula sheet that I will take you through at the end of the video, but I'm not going to focus on using it because it's actually much easier just to use similar triangles. So the formula on your formula sheet will help you work out the height anywhere on this triangle. Um, but you can do the same thing with similar triangles that I think is a lot more easier as a process. OK, so here's an example. So we've got this triangular distribution that goes from one up to seven with a mode of three. So first of all, finding the height is two over B minus A which I have just done over here, and that comes to one third. So we've got the height of the triangle is one third, and we're being asked to find the probability that X is greater than six. So on your diagram, mark off where six is, and we're finding this little triangle at the top end. Okay, so using what we know about similar triangles, the big triangle here from the, the peak up to the end, um, so it will be from three to seven. So it will have a base of four and a height of one third. We want to shrink that down to the little triangle here from six to seven that has a base of one. So that scale factor will be a reduction there. So it's a multiplication of 0.25. So we can do the same thing to the height. So the height of the little triangle will be one third times that scale factor of 0.25 to make it be um, one twelfth just here. So the height of the smaller triangle is one twelfth. So then the area of that triangle is half times the base times the height, and that makes one over 24, which we would write as decimals for probabilities like this usually. So that probability that x is greater than or equal to six will be equal to 0 0.0417. And then you can go ahead and use that same process to work out anything on any part of that triangle that you would want to do. So, for example, if I had wanted to work out the probability that x was less than 4, then I would have marked on a 4. Here's the area that I want to work out. So I would have actually worked out this triangle here, found that area and taking it away from one using similar triangles again. Now I mentioned earlier there is a formula on the formula sheet for this and this is what it looks like um, and you can see now why I don't bother using it. It's a little bit over complicated for what we're trying to do. Similar triangles is, a, is an easier process I think but this formula here will help you work out the height anywhere on the triangle that you need. It's important to remember this f of x, it only gives you the height. It does not give you the probability and the area. Once you've found the height of that triangle, you still need to work out half base times height to work out the area of the triangle that you are creating. So if you prefer algebraic substitution to similar triangles, this is an option for you. You simply just put in the values of a, b and c and x is the is the point along the bottom there where you want to find out the probability. So if we were doing that previous example of being more than six, then X would have been six in here. Now there is a slightly trickier question you could be asked on the triangular distribution, and that is to find the median. So on this one, we've got um, the median is, is going to be somewhere on this side of the three. So I'll put that line in and mark it as M. Now it will always be on the, the bulkier side. So you can see we've got this um, 
skinnier side of the triangle and then the fatter side. Now the median marks exactly halfway through your data so it will always be on that fatter side of the triangle. So for this one um, we know that the probability that x is less than the median is the same as the probability that x is more than the median which will be equal to 0.5. Then if we think about the similar triangles, we've got this, the big triangle we've got from three to seven, so that'll have a base of four. The little triangle, we we, we do actually know the, the base of it in terms of M, so that will be seven minus M in this particular case. Um, so our scale factor that we can work out for the height, we don't have it exactly, um, but we can use it to work through and find M. So the scale factor here, that would get multiplied by 7 minus m over 4. Now your scale factor is always the thing that you're moving to divided by the thing that you're moving from. That's the same as we did on uh, this other one over here. So the scale factor here, the thing we're moving to was 1. The thing we're moving from is 4. So 1 divided by 4 makes 0.25. Okay, so back over to this one. So um, we've got that scale factor of 7 minus m over 4. And we'll apply that same thing to make the height. Now, the area of our triangle must be 0 0.5. So if we go through half times base times height, then we get 0 0.5. Now that height one, I'm just going to pause on there. We've got that one third from here being multiplied by the scale factor 7 minus m over 4. And then we simply solve for m. So you can either very carefully put this into your equation solver on the graphics calculator, or you can work through the steps algebraically. Um, doesn't really matter as long as you get the right answer. So 0 0.5 times 2 times uh, that'll get us 7 minus m squared divided by 4, so then times by the 4. Okay, so 7 minus m squared will be equal to 12. So let's square root that. And then m will be 3.54. Well done.